Yo, what is going on guys? It's Wrath here, back with episode 11 of our Monster Hunter 1 Let's Play. Uh, last episode, we finally did the Bane of the Hunters mission, got it out of the way, and it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. And we have one last quest that we have to do for our 4 star quest, and then we'll be killing the Rathalos in this episode, so let's hurry up and, and get this done as fast as we can. This is just a Slay the Gameplay quest, it's not really too demanding or anything so it should go by pretty quickly I just don't know if I know exactly where I need to go to kill all the gimp right but we'll see I think I do uh, we'll go ahead and take our rations before we even get out there Now, even though we're using the Great Serpent Blade for this, we're actually going to be using our Poison Axe to kill the Rathalos, just because I like the Poison Axe. I think Poison is a really good affix to use for monsters that have lots of health, just because it gets you that slow ticking damage that's pretty constant. Yeah, I don't see any here. Yeah, I don't see any. They're probably in area three and we ran right past them. I doubt there's that many there. So we'll go through nine and five and then make our way up to that area. Ah, here they come. Yeah, there's one. Nice. Super easy. That was only three though, so we're kind of in bad shape. This is like a mix area. I think they just added these type of missions in the game for like fodder so there's more content I almost wish sometimes they wouldn't have added these missions just because it's so boring like obviously if you need like a piece for like a specific armor set or like a weapon that requires those pieces this is like the way to go but man if it isn't boring And I don't even carve them at this point. I know I probably should, but... Cool. I still can't get over that episode where we were killing the Gendron. I think it was episode, like, 9. And we completely, like, demolished him against the wall of the area. It was amazing. He couldn't move. Definitely gonna go back later and watch that again. I was just so star uh, shocked that we got it on the actual episode and got it on the uh, video. Ten left, so not too many to go. Should be done soon. Yeah, only eight left, so we're gonna kill the ones in six, and then three probably, and then we'll be done. Actually, I think they keep respawning in this area. So hopefully we 
only have to kill the ones in area six. That's one over there, actually. They do keep respawning. Nice. Actually, only five and a half minutes into the recording of this episode, so went by pretty quick. Thankfully, I don't like wasting time on these quests. They're really no fun, but the Great Serpent Blade makes it easier. This is pretty much the best Great Sword you have access to this early in the game. Um, definitely later on in the in the um. I'm not going to say it out loud because I know there's at least a few of you guys that don't know about it, so I'm going to keep it a secret, but we're definitely going to be able to upgrade our weapon into something much more powerful than this not long from now. Nice, and we're done. Six and a half minutes in pretty quick and then we're gonna hop straight into our Rathalos quest and kill him for fun this game I think this series in general the best thing about it for me is the way it feels when you hit a monster it's very like you feel your weapon go through them it's not just you hit them. It's like, it's a completely different thing that I can't possibly explain even if I wanted to. You just have to play the game and feel it for yourself. But it just feels good to hit things. Not all games have that feeling of, um, like you're doing actual damage when you hit a monster. But it, it literally feels like you're chopping them in half. It's, it's great. Um, I know I've played a lot of games where it doesn't feel like you're doing any damage where like you get no real sense of anything when you're attacking and, and those games just don't do it for me personally. So now we're gonna go ahead and equip our poison battle axe. I always call it a poison battle axe because that's the one I'm so used to using, but this is the poison axe. Let's see what we have. We don't need any of that gameplay stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and sell all of that. So these are the things that I thought would be, maybe not necessary, but would help. A demon drug, um, world on stakes, flash bombs. We don't really need sonic bombs, but I have it in my inventory anyways. A pitfall trap, uh, whetstones, herbs, and then power suits and armor suits. So we don't need all that, and I doubt we'll use all of it, but. All right, attack of the Rathalos. Five star urgent. Finally in the five star quests. Now we're going to have fun, because all of these missions, I think, are just so much fun. Alright, they gave us small barrel bombs, large barrel bombs. And some flash bombs. Let's go ahead and eat one of these before we go. And I don't know if it's true, but I feel like these last longer than rations. So I'm really not going to flash bomb this guy like that, but we'll definitely use one here and there. I don't know how long the demon drug lasts, so we're going to save it until we get in the area. Let's see if it tells me anything about it. 
increases attack power, bestowing the strength of Asura himself on user. See, I don't know who Asura is, but I'm pretty sure if you looked it up, you could find it out on our wiki. Um, I remember when I was making a Dauntless video, I actually said that Monster Hunter didn't have any lore. And what I meant by that is there's no lore in the game. Um, obviously, you can look online and find it, but in the game, no lore. So that's what I meant. I know there's lore to the game. I'm not an idiot. But let's be quiet and watch this. This stacks, but we'll see. We're at 228 attack here. Now we're at 242. Okay, well, oh, nice. Oh, jeez. Out the gate, he is not playing. And this is the problem with fighting Arathalos. He flies so much. So we're probably gonna flash bomb him when he, when he lands, to be honest with you. Not much you can really do, but it's good to have him flash so you can see him coming on the radar. And he missed. Yeah, I don't think that attack ever really hits unless you're standing right in front of him and don't move the entire time. But he has to come back up here to land, and when he gets in the air, over his spot. Go ahead, toss that out. Now, I don't plan on using any more flash bombs, and I have to. I don't really like using them like that. And I'm actually recording this on the 4th of July, so happy Independence Day. Hope your day is going well. Broke his face. He's back in the air again. That's really his whole tactic. Alright, well, he's going to area 10 now. And we'll actually take an armor seed to. Since he's already here. Might as well put this down. I really hope it doesn't leave. He's leaving. <sighs> Sadness ensues. Just part of the game, I guess. You would assume he wouldn't do something like that, but that's what you get for assuming, I guess. to eat. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry about the, all those door sounds. Uh, I know sometimes it picks up background audio, but I actually tried to turn off the background audio on my last episode for like half of the video because I recorded this, the episode separately. And he's leaving again, maybe? I don't know what he's doing. No clue. Ah, oh, he's going back down here. So he's actually still in the air. Ah, oh, really? That one didn't count. 
What? Dude, you're kidding. Maybe I can get him with this one. Nope. None of it counted. All to waste. And then he flies straight to area 10. And then you steal my flash bomb. Why? And I killed the wrong one. And now I have no flash bombs. You know what? I'm not even worried about it. I wish he would have just stayed in area 10 like he was supposed to. But. It's part of the game, I guess. At least we can get him to go into the trap. So that's fun. I think we'll be able to get a lot more damage on him in the trap rather than... <sighs> he sucks so bad. This is why they give you flash bombs. Like, he's not a hard boss, but man, is he annoying. He just flew around for a little bit. Let's see if he'll run. Oh, nice. Aha, idiot. As soon as he lands, he's gonna break out a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he'll shoot a fireball here. Yeah, when he turns around really slowly like that, he either jumps or he does a fireball. Now he's pissed. Looks like he's leaving. Okay, if he's going to nine, we're gonna go back to base and get our flash bombs because I just I feel robbed. I mean seriously, I, I feel robbed. He's going to area four, which is fine with me. He's still actually poisoned right now, believe it or not. So that poison's gonna tick on until however long it lasts. And our attack is back down to 228, which is fine. We'll probably take one more power seed near the end of the fight. Get the rations. And this fight wouldn't last nearly as long if he weren't so mobile. But because of that factor, he just takes forever. Now, I think he's going to area 3 here, which is good for both of us. I can fight him in area 3 better than I can fight him anywhere else because of the way the map layout is. And there's no um, monsters there besides the um, Aptonoth, which run away once he's there. So we'll, I think we'll use one more flash bomb now, and uh, while he's fast, we'll use our power seed. I definitely don't believe in, in using, you know, that type of strategy against monsters that... You see, that's the type of thing that I don't understand is right in front of his face, but... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That one. He's 
gonna fly again. That's just the stuff you have to deal with when fighting a Rathalos. I mean, it's not what anybody wants to do, but it happens. So right now, the best thing we can be doing is just sharpening our weapon and getting ready to fight him again. Looks like he's actually leaving. Nope. Not leaving. He comes right here. It's so hard for him to hit you with that. It's pretty much a joke. All the way across the area. Nice. A lot of times, if you rolled. That's actually one of his hardest hitting attacks. If he runs at us here, we're probably gonna die. Wow. It's all about timing. Hard to tell if he's leaving or not. Nope, he's staying. Nice. As soon as he comes down, we're gonna flash, or we're gonna paintball him again because you do not want to lose this guy. It can turn a 15 minute mission into an 30 minute mission. We haven't been fighting him that long but he should be getting pretty weak. Just because of the type of damage that we've been doing. Oh man that actually hit us because I forgot how to do that the this thing. This is fine. The herbs kill a lot of your red back. No, he does have wind, uh, wind damage. So, kind of using a great sword. You don't have like wind negate on your armor set, which I don't think a lot of them have it. But yeah, you can't really get away from that. This is where he's either going to do his fireballs. Yeah. That. And then he just lands again. He's probably going to rush at us here. Nope. More fireballs. Nope. Running away. And we didn't even paintball him. Dang it. That's my one job. I think he's going to 10. Hopefully. No, he didn't even go to 10. I'm going to assume 9. Because I want him to be in 4. So we check here first. I'm gonna say four. I was supposed to bring a Psycho Serum, but I did not do that. Okay, I doubt he's gonna be in five because he rarely goes to five unless he's ready to die. But we're gonna check there anyways. Man, I can't believe I lost him. This sucks. Aha.
hit him. That was amazing. Is he leaving? He's leaving. All of that. It's going to three. At least we found him. <laughs> no, he's going to four. Nice. A beautiful monster. Extremely fun in every other game. But in Monster Hunter 1, he is just horrible to fight. It's just no fun at all. It's sad how unfun he is. I think he's gonna roar when he sees us. Ah, we we're so under that, but didn't matter. Ah, he's actually pretty close to dying there. Nice. So he's gonna limp away into area five. And that's where he'll go to sleep. And then we will demolish him. So it wasn't that hard of a mission. We'll just wait here and sharpen our weapon before we go in. Let him go to sleep first. And as soon as he turns blue, you'll know he is ready to be attacked and snuck up on because that is when he's asleep. Alright, he's blue. Doesn't look like he's moving anymore. We're gonna sneak on him. And here we go. Missed that. Awesome. Almost done. Oh, we got hit with a big one. Getting pretty low. He's flying towards us. Oh, God. Lots of bad things are happening. No! <laughs> no! God, why me? <laughs> oh man, so embarrassing. Well, I feel like that needed to happen. Definitely wouldn't have been a good episode if I didn't die at least once. Man, that sucks. The Velocipre, if they weren't there, dude, it would have been done. Oh well. Yeah, that's probably one of his strongest attacks. Um, besides the back away fireball, the one where he like, like flaps backwards and spits one as he's moving. That one's pretty strong too, but the triple fireball, it, it, it targets you. So even if you've moved, it, the next one will, will be where you were. And if you're out of stamina, you're, you're done. He isn't, um... Okay, so he's going back to four. Which is fine with me. 
Um, he'll go right back to five. That's his like little thing he does. Let's chill out there for a minute and then. Like that's what he's doing right now. So hopefully we'll be able to hit these Velocipre a few times. Before he gets here. We're leaving the area. Screw that. I refuse to deal with that. I don't know if you guys lost audio, but I definitely just lost audio somehow. I'm not sure why that happened. So he's gonna fireball. And so I'm going to take this chance to hit him a few times. Okay, we definitely need to heal for it before. Oh my god, that was way too close. Yeah, that, that attack will poison you and stun you. And you are just shit out of luck after that. No, he should have been close to dead, but I don't know why he's still alive. So we're actually going to have to leave this area again to heal because I refuse to die to this guy twice. But yeah, I don't know why, but my audio cut out just then for that game. I'm not sure if you guys lost it, but I have no sound. Hopefully it doesn't affect the video at all. But it might. Which would suck. Sharpen again. Go back in. And now we're going to kill him for sure this time. 100%. Like, no doubt. Okay, he missed. He's gonna do a fireball. I think I'm gonna have enough damage to kill him on this one. Hopefully. Yes! Got him. Nice. Alright. Sweet. Now we're gonna be finally moving on to our five star quests. And he's actually in those five star quests. So this isn't gonna be the last time we see this guy. Get a Rathalos shell. See what all we can get. Um, a scale. And no webbing. Nice. All right, guys. So that was the Rathalos quest. So 
Okay, what do we get? Uh, shell, scales, wyvern claws, and large monster bones. Sweet. Alright, guys. And one last thing before we go. We're going to go back and talk to the village chief. See if he has anything to say to us. Let me present you with a sword. It's a sword I once used when I faced a single horde wy wyvern, Monobloss. Go to the place behind your house where there's an embedded sword. Alright, well. Go on back here and try to pull this sword out. And you bet. Brand new weapon. Looks pretty badass to me. Looks like something from Zelda. So we can go back to town and take a look at it really quickly. The Hero's Blade. Really bad sharpness. Looks super cool though. Wonder if we can upgrade it. Uh, Master's Blade. 280 attack with amazing green sharpness. We need a Hunter Citation and a Monobloss Heart. Alright guys. Well, that was the Rathalos quest. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time when we move on to five-star quests. And maybe we'll even look at it first before we go. Catch a Rathalos, Basarios, Unseen Peril, Water River in the Desert, Slay the Rathian, and Attack of the Rathalos. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.